Okay, well, I had a movie about this before, or a video. This car, when I bought it away at uh, the air conditioner work and worked great, and then he quit. And a little later on, it might kick back on and everything, so I tried a number of things uh, before. And the sad thing is, this very same thing happened to me on that little Baja that I had. I don't know whether it's typical for Subarus or not, but what happens is the air gap becomes too wide in here for the clutch to snap shut. And, uh, and I get tired of uh, being hot half the time here in the summer, and so I was sitting there the other day waiting for the wife, or yesterday actually, she's in the, there at Sam's, and that's a three day, three hour ordeal, so I sat in there and the air conditioner kept kicking off, and I thought, well, my golly, I think I remember that happened before to me, so I cut me some little plastic pieces out of the top of a CD, uh, you know, where you get them five, or get a hundred or fifty CDs and a thing, I cut the top out of that, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but I, this little rubber thing here, uh, this, that, I need to make a better one, but I cut some little pieces and I stuck it in, in between each one of these. Uh, and here, so what that does, that pushes the, the, uh, causes a, a less of an air gap in between here, so the clutch can jam in case. It still functions fine, it, on, it, it, it'll call it, it'll, uh, what do you call it, cycle. But, uh, with these in here like that, that close up, that's not the right way to do it. You're supposed to take that bolt off in here, and I think I'm going to take shims out, whatever, I can't remember how it was. But like I said, I've done this before, I already made a video about it, I'm going to do it one more time, because maybe I can look back at it and see what the heck it is the next time this happens. Now, whether that happens on any other car, I think it probably does, but on Subaru, it's the second time I've had this happen, so. And I just put these little shims in here to take up the space, you know. I don't know, I never tried to take the bolt off this one, but that other car I did, and you couldn't, I couldn't get that this off, so. It was a temporary to a permanent fix, is what it was. All right, well, just in case somebody else had a problem with this, uh, this is what you can do for a temporary fix. I won't say it lasts forever, but it did on that other one. I didn't have to do nothing else to it. It's not the right way, but it's the easy way. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing.